Hello and welcome back to Garen River vs Slime Rancher Day 122. Right, I'm counting you as underprivileged. I'm still searching for uh, pods and the like. Because I've been informed via my map module that there is a pod in the reef I have not found. And I wish to found it. What's that? No, it's a rock. I wish to find it. It's the only one I'm missing here, and I really, really, really want to get it. I've no idea where it is. It could be bloody anywhere in the reef, which is all of this area. So... I guess I should just search from one end to the other. So I should go over to where it borders with the uh, the indigo quarry. That's a good idea, actually. I'll go to where it borders with the indigo quarry, and then I'll know that it's not in that area. And then I'll just sort of thorough search one end to the other. Although this is a cave, so there really isn't much place for it to hide in here. Oh, there is a lip up there, isn't there? Oh, yes. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, I was certain there would be. Have I done this, Hobson? I used to come to this beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distant rings and ruminate on who created them and for what purpose. But most of all, I'd sit here and think of her. That would be uh, Thora. Right. You're hanging around with a bad crowd. Crowds who... Oops. Crowds who willingly throw themselves into the water. See, when I go looking, I find underprivileged slimes everywhere. That's why I don't really look. Because, you know... Underprivileged. Because when you look, of course you're going to find things like that. So, you know, you, you stick to your little sphere. And you do the best you can for the ones that you have, and you don't go looking for more to help, you know? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Makes sense to me. And of course here is, uh, is where I found my first one. Is the, uh, the sort of the ribcage valley tars that first inspired me to help underprivileged tabbies. I was thinking I was hiding on this tree or something, and it's like, no, there's a tabby down there. I must save it from the tar. Ah, uh, good times. That was bloody ages ago. I can't remember how far into the series that was. That must have been quite early. But then again, this wasn't in that early, was it? Oh! Oh, is that the last one? Yes, it is! Oh, beautiful. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's all the stuff for this... this section. So I guess I'll go drop off these uh, three tabbies. Wow, that is a lot of chickens. That is a lot of chickens. And not for long with all of these tabbies around. So I'll go drop off these underprivileged. Uh, bank these three spiral steams and then uh, let's see what will be next quarry or moss blanket quarry I reckon uh, there it is okay so into the quarry I should really go from one end to the other shouldn't I so in the quarry I... that's what I was saying before. I reckon it'll be in the uh, volcanic island, the uh, the vault. Because it, the reef one was on Ring Island. So volcanic island makes sense. Because it's, uh, it's sort of the equivalent of Ring Island. And then there'll be the Hunter Island or Hunter area for the Moss Blanket. It's like with the Gordos. You know, it's the same logic as behind the Gordos. Wow, I haven't come through that entrance in bloody ages. This place feels so weird. Just haven't haven't been here. See, I was expecting to need... Ah, there's a pod. 
I was expecting to need a load of um, a load of time to find the golds. Hexium formation. Cool. Uh, I was expecting to need like five episodes or something, five episodes of time, five days, in-game days, whatever you want to call it, to find bloody golds. But then I encounter a gold really quick. Wow, it has been ages since I've been here. <gasps> gold! Whoa, four! Five! Damn. It has been ages since I've been here because I haven't got even the basic pods from here. Oh, then again, maybe that, that was added late because that's just one of them. Old onion, don't need that. Uh, so I need the map node to find out how many I'm missing from here. I think it's just that I haven't explored this area. I was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty. So I figured that life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you just know it? I came all this way and the first person I see... Well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good any good anymore. I liked her laugh. Was well, that the entrance? Yes, that is. I went that way. Yeah, so this... Uh, it, it's been bloody ages since I've properly searched this place, I guess. Well, this open area, I've always sort of... Oh my god. I've always gone from the uh, the other the other entrance, as it were. Is that all of them? Yes. So many tar. So I guess I haven't been in this this uh, opening area for a very long time. What's that over there? I don't recognise that pathway. Is that the one at the end? That can't be the one at the end. I'm gonna have to fly over and check. Can't believe I found another gold slime. Do they just not spawn in the desert? Because that's, I suppose that's where I've been spending most of my time. Oh, is this the uh, the ruins entrance? Yeah, it is. That's why I didn't recognise it. All right, I'll uh, fl fly back then. Tons of chickens around. Yeah, this is where I always enter, because I always thought that... Oh, oh, there's one hidden here. I always thought that this was sort of the, the real beginning of it. Royal Fashion Pod. Ooh, that might look decent. And there's the map node. Boom. Let's see. That's the, uh, the little bit off... Yeah, yeah, that's that bit. I know that bit. Um, that's the volcanic cavern. Uh, volcanic islands up there. Oh, there's a little bit there. Uh, what on earth is that? Oh, that's the home teleport, right? And there's the grey teleport. What's left then? Oh, what's that bit? No, I can't make that. So I'm missing three more pods in the quarry. Forgot to check that when I got the map node. So I'm not really surprised. I guess this is the place I've searched least. Uh, right, I'll go check out the volcanic cavern first. I don't think the vault will be in there, but I really wouldn't be surprised if it was. Actually, scratch that, I totally would. I really don't think it's in there. Box tabby! Box tabbies are always underprivileged, and apparently I got a tabby out of a box and uh, didn't take it home with me, and I'm very, very sorry. That was a failure on my part. As uh, founder of Splat. Remember, box tabbies are always underprivileged. Ah, there's one. There's a pod. Ta-da! Indigonium! And a strange diamond. Okay, I'm going to use my teleporter to go back and drop off the things I have. While I'm here... 
stats down even further. Wow, okay. Definitely keeping these now. Right, so the other one was sort of near the peak. I reckon this one's going to be near the peak as well. And I am I am 99% sure it's here. Unless it's in the middle. No, I reckon it is near the peak. The peak is just a more dramatic place for it to be. And Hobson is nothing if not a massive drama queen. Nah. Yeah, there it is. In the centre of this little thing. Alright, just check around for pods. Nope, okay. Boom. So, are these actually in the ruins? Because this is definitely ruin architecture. And the the little twizzle, twizzle ball orb thing. That That's very much a ruins thing, of course. Let's see, what do we have to work with here? Water. There's the twizzle ball. It's just Is it just the one in here? Presumably, until I activate the trap. And then the whole ceiling caves in and everybody runs for their lives. Yeah, he's messing with me. Where's it going to open up then? Hmm. Well, let's go hit the uh, sneakily hidden twizzle ball. Aha! Oh, wow. Wow. That is stunning. Oh. Drama Queen with good taste. Oh my god! A good taste in... Oh, look at them all! So many! Oh. Good taste in architecture. So many gold plots. So many. How many are there? Oh, I'm not getting ten per thing. Is it like five per thing? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, maybe seven. Ooh, so many. Right, let's see how many I get from this one. Seven. Okay. Right, yes, that makes sense. Seven each, plus the one I got to begin with. Oh, it's so nice. So nice to see all of this. Right, I'm probably going to need to go put them away somewhere so I don't accidentally lose them shortly. Oh, there's still loads more. Uh, let's see, they'll take me up to 92 and then 99. Okay. So I'll go bank these ones. And then giant slime face. I take it these don't count. Ah, uh, yeah, question mark. See, it has no idea where I am now. Okay. Uh, wow, that's still... I think that's higher than it was yesterday. I, I, I don't recall. Or maybe that is yes. No, it is different to yesterday's. There we go. 200 so far. Two hundred forty-four so far. I can't wait for that to go up. If that hits like 600, oh, I'm going to have like 50,000 or something in gold plots waiting for me. Right, I'll go get the rest. Oh, what on earth? Why are there three gold plots just sitting there? 
That's really weird. Some a gold one must have spawned and something must have hit it. And it seems it doesn't need me to hit it to get the three. That's really weird. Oh, look at that. Big golden pile. Lovely. Yeah, another f <laughs> another 47 to add to the to the pile. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Nice. So that's two volts, and I have about 300 now. Right, I do remember that I got three of them from another gold slime, so put them in there. Tabby! Oh god, so much stuff here. Right, I'm going to have to do the rounds again. My money is going up so much. Look at all of those plots, right? You're wondering why they're not being vacked up. It's because it's bloody full. It is bloody full of a hundred dervish and tabby plots, and this is the case with all of my corrals. Because I've been sort of not collecting them as diligently as normal, because I've been spending all my time out searching for vaults and the like, there is just... it is it's full. Almost all of the crowds are full of plots, which is why I'm up to 70,000 now. And, yeah, the, I've been... this is... yeah. Not many days. Not many days, and my production is so damn high. It's brilliant. I love it. Now watch this get backed up and let's see how many were on the floor. A further 40 of each. Bloody hell. And the reason I have such high production of plots when I'm spending a lot of time away from the ranch is I have most of these uh, auto feeders with stuff in them. So I'm behind on a couple, like I once again never have enough chickens no matter how many bloody chicken things I have, even when I have two I just don't have enough, but luckily these guys are very understanding fellows and, and know that I can't always feed them, and they're okay with that. They're okay with it, honest. But yeah, most of these, they just constantly have food in them. I have such high food production now that I can just go and dump like 15 into one thing at a time, add that to what they already have sort of on the floor from previous feedings that hasn't quite despawned yet, and they always have plenty of food. So like the uh, the mosaic tangles I have in the lab, they always have about 40 food either lying on the floor or in the auto feeder waiting to feed them. It's it's just such a high production of food now that yeah, I can just I can just vanish away for long periods and they will still all get fed and still all produce sort of loads of plots. He says showing a 12, but that's because I... J look at these, I just emptied this. I just emptied this in this cycle and it's already back up to 40. It's just they have such high production. It's brilliant. I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the Tangle Mosaics. So, they have 49 in there. And none of the, f uh, not many on the floor because I recently picked them up, but I, I sort of emptied this one not too recently as well. So they have plenty of food, and I make sure that one stays max topped up because they are my highest earners. Although at the moment, both mosaic and tangle plots are down, and that's because, uh, that's because I've been selling so many of them, hundreds and hundreds of them, that they're just not worth much at the moment. I don't know why it sometimes give me, gives me only a crop of five. I'll give them to them. Right, so where was I? Uh, I've been to the volcanic vault. I cleared that out. That was the second vault I've done. So I'm still missing two pods here. Which I will now go and search for. What's this? Secret path? Leading to a pod. Yep, 
once again, it immediately finds results. Serious. Wow, that looks horrendous. I'm never going to use that. I really do need to use the royal one, though. But yeah, just so many results just by going and flying around the edges of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's just so such a useful tactic for finding hidden things. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with more soon.